Grandma Di and Grandpa Oi, an older couple in northern Thailand's San Batong district, thought that they would not have to work in their old age. Their daughter and son-in-law would support them, and they would be able to lead a quiet, retired life. But when their daughter Toi and her husband Gon succumbed to AIDS in 1997, life changed forever. In his mid-sixties, Grandpa Oi once again became the family's sole breadwinner. For the past six years, he and Grandma Di have also been taking care of their young orphaned grandson. They had already spent a number of years taking care of their sick daughter. <laughs> While 389,000 people have already died from HIV AIDS related illnesses, there are an estimated 1 million more who live with the virus in Thailand. Close to 20 years after HIV was first detected in Thailand, many of those who had the virus have died. They left behind young children and the elderly, who now have to take care of them. According to UN AIDS, across Thailand there are now 75,000 children under the age of 15 who have been orphaned by the HIV epidemic. In the northern Thai province of Chiang Mai alone, over 4,000 grandparents are estimated to have taken on this responsibility. But the contribution of older people has yet to be recognized by policymakers and organizations working in the area of HIV AIDS. HIV AIDS programs in Thailand have been very effective at reaching the middle-aged generations, youth and people with AIDS themselves. However, they have noticeably omitted the elderly from their programs. In Thailand, 70% of HIV AIDS patients who have died were cared for by an older parent or relative. The vast majority of these were 50 years or over, and many were in their 60s and 70s. Even within communities, older people are often prominent as volunteers for services which support families affected by HIV AIDS. There are, however, a few whose work and needs have been recognized, and Grandpa Oi and Grandma Di are among them. They are beneficiaries of a support program funded by a global NGO, Help Age International, and coordinated with Ben Sawadee's local NGO, Mother Child Concern Foundation. The income generation component of this program, initiated in 1998, provides Grandpa Oi and Grandma Di with a low interest loan. With this money, they feed and raise pigs for sale. อ๋อเลี้ยงแม่พันธุ์นั้นมาได้เพิ่งตาเดือนเหลือได้ปีกว่าเกิดลูกออกมาก็ได้พอถึง 4 เดือนลูกมันก็เกิดออกมาthe reason why Help Age decided to get involved in this project is because most, if not all, of the older people with whom we work are very poor. When they have children affected by HIV AIDS, then they have to look after both their sick children and their grandchildren. One of their particular needs is for money. Money to pay for health care and money to pay for their grandchildren's school fees and other requirements such as clothing. So we think it's very important to help older people earn money in different ways. Secondly, we want to help support them in home care so that they are better able to look after their sick adult children. While programs like these often tend to have more short-term goals and are rarely self-sustaining, the Revolving Fund project is very clear about its objectives. Income generation is important because we want to assist the elderly 
to continue the role as carers for the family. Wherever possible, we want them to be the main providers and to uh, not become welfare cases and receive free handouts, whether those are education grants or just handouts from the government. Innovative programs like these are now helping grandparents who are in good health to generate additional income. Many have started home-based agricultural and handicraft projects. So far, over 200 older people and their families affected by HIV-AIDS in San Batong district have benefited from the fund. One of the reasons why this project has been very successful is that the repayment rates for the loans to older people have been very high, around 95%. For those like Grandpa Oi and Grandma D, the ability to stand on their own feet and support their grandchild has not only given them strength, but also helped forge a closer bond with their grandson. So the main emphasis of our program is in strengthening the bond between grandparents and their grandchildren. That starts with it helping the grandparents make income so they can send their children to school and continues until the children can finish school, find work and come back and take care of their grandparents. For grandparents D and Oi, and thousands of other older people affected by HIV-AIDS. Life must continue, with or without financial assistance. However, additional support and understanding of their contributions, through projects like the one in San Batong, will make their journey a little easier.